1969 Hearst Olds sitting in a warehouse for probably 15 years. All right, hey, I'm here in Illinois uh, documenting a gentleman's collection of rare GM muscle cars, some of which been, which have been sitting for possibly, what, 15, 20 years? At least and some our possession, maybe longer. A lot of more projects when we bought them. Yeah, but uh, I thought we'd walk around real quick and just see what he's got. And uh, this obviously, it's a GTO. And uh, what's really special about this GTO? So this is a very oddball car because it's a factory Ram Air 4 non-judge four-speed. Uh, factory ordered and code 75 Cardinal Red. Um, so we got a very, very odd PHS. The car was strictly ordered to be a race car. It was actually bought new by a dealership in um, Iowa, right on the Illinois border, that used it to promote their dealership and raced it. So it has a factory 433 posi rear end, oh, wow. manual steering, manual brakes, and factory po uh, poverty hubcaps. It's got bucket seats with no console and AM radio. So it was all go fast options other than the bucket seats and the radio. So it's a, one of the shortest PHSs that I've ever seen. <laughs> That's um, funny. Original motor's long gone as most brand of fours. Here's some more tail. Oh but yeah. It's a, a very unique piece of automotive racing history because this was ordered for one purpose only, which was to go on a straight line. That's still a Pontiac engine right there. Yeah, I believe it's a 350. I yeah, it, was... I, it might be a 400. It's been a while since I, I tried to start it when I was like 15 and it turned over. <laughs> oh, well, so you've had this car for quite a while then. Yes, yeah, this one's been in uh, there we go. a long time. I remember, Body uh, tag. I was very excited the day I found this one. I think I bought it off of uh, classicalpontiac.com. Do you remember that one? I, I do remember that one. Wow, that place, I haven't heard that name in a long time. <laughs> I used to check it every day when I went from school. But it looks, I mean, it's, I mean, yeah, there's some cracking in the Enduro front bumper and all that, but it's, I mean, it's not real rusty. I mean, obviously no. the wrong engine, but. It's a very clean. Uh, very ice. clean. It's, it's going to be a great uh, car to restore. It's very, it is very straight. Luckily, it was never wrecked and not rotted. Um, yeah. It's been stored indoors, so we was just uh, getting the a date coded drivetrain back together in it. and. Um, because you said, I think you have an engine for it or we have not a, we don't have a ww or sr block for it yet oh okay. we do have the 614 heads that's um, right and, and some other Ram four parts that would go in this car um, very cool yeah. all right and then next to it is just a, a oldsmobile no one cares about oldsmobiles yeah, nothing, special here. nothing special here except it's a hearst olds 455 yeah, it's a hearst olds with factory air conditioning um, and the, oh, just, actually i didn't even see when it was the last red <laughs> that's inspected 98 that's later, I would have guessed. But, um, yeah, her, his and her shifter. Just a little mold. Bucket seat interior. Alrighty. So. And what, what's it? What's it on these cars that just denotes it as a Hearst Olds? It's a dash in the fender tag or something like that? Or is that 68s only? I'm not 100% certain on that. I know we have documentation on it. Um, okay. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's, because they, th these were numbered, right? It's like yeah. number three fifty-eight or whatever it is. Yep. Yeah, I think they. I think it was nine hundred and six. I want to say they made of these. It used to be so much better. Than I think it was five eighty-five and sixty-eight and nine hundred six and sixty-nine. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, I had no idea they even made a Hearst Olds with air conditioning. Yeah. I thought they were all, you know, like Dodge. All the Dart Hemi Darts were all the same. Basically, mm -hmm. all the Hemi Barracudas were the same. All yeah. the. I mean, this. I think we. I want to say we have a window sticker on this car, actually, because remember the the price tag was through the roof on this car because it was really? first installed with air. I want to say it was in excess of uh, five thousand dollars. Wow. So that's like the frigid air. Yep. AC compressor. Yeah, so I believe we have a window sticker on this car and a couple other documentation. Spoiler still there. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh -huh. Complete car. It might have gotten to the headliner, but that's understandable. And something fell on the roof. Wow, that's a pretty good dent. Weird dent. Yeah, mice do love to uh, inhabitate classic cars. I've learned that. They do. Years. That they do. Well, wow, this thing is so cool. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <sighs> now we go on to the real granny car of the group. <laughs> yeah, this is actually one of my personal favorites. It's, um, it's a Buick. I mean, no, yeah. it's, it's just a Buick. It's a I mean, if you, if you were too old for an Oldsmobile, you went to the Buick. And it's just a real legitimate what year is it 70 70 yep. a real true 70 buick gs stage one mm -hmm. and it's a factory silver car um 
I think, yeah, I think it was um, Cortez Silver. The factory is Silver 4 speed. Um, not numbers matching, but this car is pretty cool because it's um, the gentleman we bought it from was street racing with it. He was street racing with a Buick GS Stage 1. He had a um, whole nitrous assembly on it that we, we sold, but he had all the solenoids hidden behind an MSD box on the firewall. He was all trying to conceal everything and hit it. Oh, so he was, he was even... How was he trying to be a sleeper in a Buick GS I Stage know. 1? This, when you hear this car run, you, it's not really much of a sleeper. And it had some fat-ass slicks on it when uh, we got it, too. We sold those. And now they're just flat. Yeah. Now, <laughs> what, well, you know, they're not the original slicks, but the no. tires are just flat. Yeah, it's got some runners on it. But yeah, this thing, I had the dyno sheets on it with the whole build. I think it made, I want to say 494 horse, but in excess of 600 foot pounds of torque. Wow. So it's it's a beast. It's a, probably a mid to low 11 second car. Wow. Beautiful car. I mean, just silver. I mean, original silver and everything. Mm -hmm. And then uh, here we go back to the Pontiacs. Yes. And it's just another GTO, but it's a convertible. And it's, it's really not just another GTO. It's actually a really rare convertible, but the options on it are blow your mind. Yeah, this is a, a very unique car. And for any Pontiac enthusiasts, they'll, they'll know the significance, but this is a, a factory Ram Air four-speed convertible. Um, it's originally a, a Gina Blue, which is a dark navy in 68. Um, and it had a, all Ram Air cars came with 433 rear ends. Okay. And they had a four-speed. So it's a four-speed convertible with 433s. Uh, motor's gone. Now they had a Rammer 1 or in a Rammer 2 in 1968. Yeah. Um, they, it kind of got deemed the Rammer 1. It was just the Ram Air option. Um, so this is the predecessor to the, the round port Ram, Rammer 2 motor that came out. Later. Okay. So there's two different options that you could have gotten in 68. So this is the first early production, which is the Rammer 1. Okay. So it's gotcha. a very unique car. They only made 92 of these. Oh, jeez. Convertible four speed. So this is a. Once again, I mean, it's, it's a nice straight body that's going to be a great car to restore. Uh, driveline parts are not for the car. I mean, that seems to be the case with any high performance car that you get. <laughs> Absolutely. But um, I mean, it, but it's solid. Like I said, I mean, it's solid. There's not, I mean, there's mold and a little rusty, a little, not rusty as in like needs a whole lot of work, but it's, you know, a little rusty, a little crusty, needs a little bit of work, mm -hmm. but it's not, yeah, we picked needs this, everything. I picked this up in Ohio when I was probably 13 years old. Wow. And, um, the guy that we bought from was just a hoarder. We probably spent four hours unpacking his garage to get the car clear out to put into the trailer. Um, but it was, uh, once again, classical Pontiac I found this one on. And we just oh, hopped in the truck and trailer and I think I took off school. <laughs> we just went and got it. So this thing's been sitting with you for 15 yeah, years ish. This year, so. Okay. Yeah, it's. And so, but it's been sitting before that, mm -hmm. who knows how long. Yeah, I mean, probably well in the 90s, maybe 80s. Um, and you know, it's, these cars aren't sitting because we hoard cars and don't restore them. We do a lot of restorations and these cars have been in line to get restored. Yeah. Um, we just haven't gotten to them yet. So that's the reason why they're, they're sitting. They're not here rotting away. We got them in kind no, of I mean, heated storage. They're actually in, yeah, they're heated. It's nice, it's concrete. Yeah, they're, like I said, they're dusty, but that it's dust. Dust is actually a preservative in some cases. Sure, yeah, dust is way better than rust. Exactly. And this is another Pontiac, yeah. but this isn't a GTO, but even though it's got cool Krager SS's yeah. on this it. This is just a super rust-free California car, 68 Tempest convertible. Uh, we bought to use as a donor car for a 68 GTO convertible, the project that we have. Mm -hmm. um, we still have that car as well. Um, we do want to sell that, actually have a package if somebody's interested. Gotcha, gotcha. It's like, but man, oh man, it's just, it's so clean. Yep. No, it's California's whole life. Cool. And then what, what engine is 326 then? Uh, 350. Really? 350? Yeah, yep. Oh, that's right. They went away in 67? Yeah, yeah, 68 BF radial TAs. Yeah, the old Kragers. Uh-huh. Okay, now here we are looking at a 19, what, 70? Yep. 442 convertible. Yep, and this is also a very special car because it's a factory Sebring yellow, uh, which is a very desirable color, very rare. Um, the motor's actually 100% rebuilt in this one by the previous owner. Wow, yeah, that's uh, pretty. Runs like a Swiss watch, have tons of power. Uh, whoever did the motor did a great job on it. So it's, uh, once again, a, a great solid car to restore. It's, air conditioning car. Yeah, yeah, factory wow. air conditioning, Sebring yellow, so it's, it's got some cool options, automatic car. That is cool, man. But, um, automatic on the floor, I believe. Yeah, buckets of console. 
Planets registered 1991. Yeah. I was it for a while as well. And, uh, what, I, what? Someone stepped on, That wasn't me that stepped on the interior. Oh, no. Not someone. <laughs> but wow, oh, I mean, probably. this really doesn't need a... I mean, other than, you know, some little scuffs here and there, it's really... No, it's a great candidate for restoration. And if anybody's been watching Barrett Jackson or Meekum, you know these cars are really hitting their stride right now and giving their... Uh, Absolutely. Appreciation. Absolutely. Oh, 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 there we go. Caught on the mirror. But I mean, it's straight. Other than the one fender, I mean, other than that, I mean, it's it's really a straight car. I love those yellow rallies. Or no, what were they called? Rally twos. Oh, the rally twos. That's... Yep. So rally ones with the five spoke, uh, very similar to the rest of every other make. Yeah. <laughs> those tires are so new; they still have the blue coating on the <laughs> letters. Yep. They're just. Falling apart though. Yeah, so much probably get those off before they stain them. Probably. Oh, they actually, there is actually a little bit of rust in it, but nothing. Yeah, nothing too major. Too. I mean, it's <clears throat> once again, it's a great car to restore. It's oh great. yeah. No, everything's there. Yep. And then this, this is just for me. It's just 58. You said? I, uh, I, can't put me on the spot. 50, I, I think it's a 57. Uh, 57. Yeah. Yep. And then a Sinclair, one of the reproduction Sinclair dinosaurs. Yeah, one of the three that I then bought impulsively. <laughs> So. They're so cool though. So the yellow one is a 70. What is the, this is an, is it original black? No, this is actually a special order color. Um, factory of G and Aqua. Ooh, which is Aqua. my personal favorite color. And, and any car I actually restored a 70 Buick GS last year and painted it with a wheel of G and Aqua. Oh, I love the color. Um, but the real 442, someone painted it black and painted Chevelle stripes on it. Mm -hmm. A long time ago. So you can um, see it's flaking off. Someone thought they looked better than the G and Aqua at some point, but hey. Um. Obviously, someone's delirious. <laughs> you know, I don't judge, though. Um, I like rusty junk. I mean, so I'm a little bit yeah, insane. Yeah, we got our own quirks, right? Uh, factory Ram Air Car, Factory 4-Speed. So this is one of 549 ever made. Let me see if I can open this real There we go. Nice creek. That is a good creek. <laughs> uh, keys are still in it. Let's go take it. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Oh, yeah. I see a Buick water pump housing in there. I see your drive shaft. <laughs> yeah. I see the four speed. So yeah, this is um yeah, one of forty nine. So it's a very rare car. So you said one I'm sorry, one of fifty nine? Five hundred forty nine. Oh five hundred forty nine. Yes, you know, four speed convertible. Four and here's the original color. Isn't that a pretty color? Mm -hmm. Even when it's all faded and dull, it's still gorgeous. Uh, which is kind of funny, it's a G and Aqua. It shares the same name as the GM Blue on the 68 GTO, but the two colors are completely different. Really? It's a super dark navy that almost looks black. Wow. And this is oh, Aqua. I've seen those. I've yeah. seen that. In my second book that I did, we did a 60, I think, 8 GTO that was that dark blue, mm -hmm. which you can now buy on Amazon. Oh, really? Little plug. Absolutely. But, uh, so, I mean, I, but so the fenders, I thought I saw them, but... No, those are quarter uh, panels. Oh, there's on the back of the yellow cars. Oh yeah, they're they're on the back of the yellow cars. Yeah. The front end on this car. <clears throat> yeah, so. I like the. Uh, Hornets nest mud wash. Uh, mud uh, mud dauber. Ooh, yep. So yeah, this was a package deal. One of uh, several cars that we got from one gentleman. Once again, probably yeah, 15 years ago ish, somewhere in there. We, most of these cars were bought around the same period. Yeah, um, manual steering <laughs> powered disc brake car. Power steering power brakes, actually, yeah. So yeah, it's got some good options. Very cool. Here's more of that aqua. Womp womp, flat tire. But very cool, sir. And then we got some bigger projects here in the corner. Yeah, so these are also pretty rare birds over here. This one is another Ram Air 4, non-judge, but once again, it has some really unique options. And if anyone's familiar with the, the 1970 GTO commercial that aired during the Super Bowl that was played one time in the band because it promoted street racing, yeah. um, it showed the vacuum to operate exhaust, the uh, exhaust dump out option. But the car in the commercial is silver with a 69 judge stripe because it was so early. So it was a 70 with a 69 stripe. Okay. And this car is actually identical to the one in the in the commercial. Silver 69 stripe Rammer 4. I tried like hell to prove it was the same car from the commercial, but the build date does not match up. This is made oh. in the Super Bowl. This is like March, I believe it was made. That's weird that it would have the wrong stripe on it though. It, would it have... was early production 70s. Um, okay. We've actually owned 
I think three cars now they had factory 69 judge stripes. And they're not really. Judges. They're just in. oh with the the stripe over mm-hmm. the. Okay. And it'll say on the PHS um, vinyl stripe, it's not the judge, just vinyl stripe. Just vinyl stripe. Yeah, I've so, seen I've seen a few cars like that in my yeah. travels. So it's uh it's rare, but it's it's pretty cool. It I mean, it really doesn't sharp. need. I mean, it looks like it, you were working on the quarters at the time. Yeah. And you can see it's been blasted down the bare metal, but I mean, it doesn't. Yeah, but it's platinum silver. It's a Ram Air Four automatic car. Um, okay. But once again, no drive line. It's it's a Ram Air Four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Motor's okay. long gone. These are just a couple Skylarks. Yeah, these are just basic, not for sale Skylarks. This was used. To, this is a donor car for a GSX we restored ah. years ago. This is a donor car for a stage one convertible we did. Oh, that's all. Just stage uh, one convertible. <laughs> and then this is just another Oldsmobile. Yep. And this is another Hearst Olds, another 69, non air. Uh, it's a non numbers matching car, but it is a document Hearst Olds. Um, this is, these two are the last of uh, probably about six or seven that we owned and restored. So it's uh, less plated or less. No, oh, 2004. So it wasn't that long ago that it was last. I think this car ran when we got it, actually. Do you see that rust hole, man? Yeah, no. Wow, I'd be afraid of running this thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's, oh, the, the, you know, it looks like the Millennium Falcon, the scoop, if you look at it just from this Oh, thing. yeah, oh, absolutely. Another, uh, it's such a wild car. This is, I probably get pissed off a lot of GM guys, but I think there's, this and the Buick GSX had a lot of Mopar influence. I think they're trying oh, to yeah, the color, I mean, the, the stripes, yeah, the, uh, the exaggerated features and the scoops. Mm-hmm. They're trying to appeal to the same crowd, you know, like the very young. Absolutely. Because so. what? Just think. I mean, what else? The GTOs. They, the oh, judge. Yeah. The judge had some stuff, but that the judge was built in retaliation for the '69 or the '68 Roadrunner. Oh, really? Yeah. It was supposed to be because the Roadrunner was the car of the year, mm-hmm. and it sold insanely well in '68. Mm-hmm. That to fight that, they made the '69 Judge to compete with the Roadrunner. Right. And other the- it was the cheap. Under three, you know, it was like around three thousand yeah, dollar option. The judge was supposed to be like a lower quality option before it became the elite. Yeah, so they went from being a well, it was supposed to have the color, the stripe, but none of the crazy options. It was supposed to be a plain Jane, but they were supposed to, it was supposed to be called something else, like the GT something. Yes, yes, GT something. Like that. And then they named it the Judge. I forget exactly why, but it's yeah, from, uh, the show. Oh, it was from the laughing. Yeah, laughing. But it had it was supposed to be like I think they eventually, whatever. But yeah, so is this the original engine then? No, no, it's the 455 that some, someone tried to hot rod up at some point, but it was yeah. running when we, when we got this one. I do remember driving this car into the, um, into the building. Or gotcha. Or we've moved a couple storage buildings over the years, but. Gotcha. Um, oh, the hood's on there and it's on the roof. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, a lot of other stuff. Cool, man. Well, is there anything else that you want to touch on then or? Well, that's about everything we got here. I mean, we do have several other cars in, in other locations. This is, Pretty much the what we have left. This is the most premium cars that we have. I mean, the Hearst Olds, the Stage One, the Ram Air Fours, the 442 convertibles. Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay, it's, cool. uh, that's all that they really had in that location. But if you want to see more from this adventure and others, follow me on my social media in the comments below.